Hello, so recently I came across this video by a Chinese YouTuber which has some footage of Xu Xin playing shot on a high speed camera. I wanted to share some things that I observed in it. Right off the bat, one thing that you notice is that beat the serve or the top spin, the instant where the ball hits the bat and rebounds is very small. Keep in mind, since it is a speed up of 120 times, we are literally looking at milliseconds of footage here and it's still difficult to make out. So essentially the contact time is very small. This does away with theories like, oh you should contact the ball over here if you want to spin more because you have more room to spin the ball. This does not make sense because the ball does not even stay on the bat for so long. Another thing is that if the contact time is so small, you're better off having your actions along straight lines because that would be more efficient. There's no advantage to having a curved action because with such a small contact time, any point on this curve could be approximated by a straight line anyway. Also, isn't it incredible that the human body can pick up on the subtleties of the touch, be it hard or soft, or the amount of spin on the ball in such a small contact time? In the next scene, we take a look at how far Shushin's top spins are. You can see that the speed is measured to be around 30 meters per second, which is a little more than 100 kilometers an hour. This might be a weird comparison, but did you know that the top speed of a cheetah is also around 110 kilometers an hour? So if you think that you wouldn't be able to react fast enough to block this top spin, then that's kind of how it would feel to have a cheetah running at you at full speed. Next up, we also look at how much spin Shushin can put on the ball. Here we have a number which is 172 rotations per second. In RPM, that would be around 10,600 rotations per minute. In one of the earlier videos, we talked about the speed of a point on the surface of the ball. So if this spin is 10,600 RPM, what is the speed of one such point? We know that in one rotation, it is covering a distance equal to the circumference of the circle. So the speed comes out to be 21 meters per second or 75 kilometers per hour. Next, what is the speed of Xuxing's bat at the point it contacts the ball? For that, we need the distance traveled by his arm and the time in which it traveled that distance. He keeps his arm straight for the most part. And let's say that his hand is moving in the arc of a circle and that it covers roughly a quarter of the circle. Then we can measure the radius of the circle. The length from my shoulder to the bat is around 80 centimeters. And let's say it's the same for Xu Xin as well. That gives the distance traveled by his hand to be around 1.25 meters. For the time taken, in the footage, in order for him to cover a quarter of this circle, it takes him 8 seconds. But since the speed up is 120, the actual time is 8 upon 120. So the speed of the bat when he hits the ball is around 18 meters per second or 67 kilometers an hour, which is in the same ballpark as the speed of that point on the ball's surface. That's it for this video. It was interesting to look at the slow-mo footage. I wish we had similar footage for other table tennis players as well, because then we could do a comparative analysis. But anywho, thanks for watching.